and show you come back to excel now these are the functions which i'm going to show you one more software called as tcat tcat is a software for exporting data from tally to excel now many times you find you want data from tally you export from tally it doesn't come in a structured format the value numeric value doesn't come in numeric the date doesn't come in date so and there are a lot of gaps between the transactions you find you are not able to apply the excel functions so in this case what we do is we provide you simple options for you to export the masters and the transactions whether it's accounting inventory cost center or payroll and you can also get various gst related transactions master reports you can get various types of reports okay let me start this now these are all the functions that are available now if you see here also we get configure document what a function i performed i can also log i can also get excel log i can also get activities log all the functions in ecat also is available it tells me all the functions which are performed what time the function is performed so you have assigned to your staff they come with a laptop and they have to show it to you then you can clearly know what function was performed then we can find between two functions why there is so much time taken so you can you make your expense analysis about it audit test and then give them the list and then you can go through this you can also view this in excel so this becomes a part of your audit record which means it also helps in documenting the audit test you performed so these are all the functions available i'll just show you maybe a four or five functions here i'm just taking now i have picked up tally now here i picked up a sample data for 2012 and 2013 now if i go to dss ah uh, now it gives me the it should be able to give me the statistics that not keep 990 which is it gives me the complete information okay now what i would like to do is i would like to export now here i come back to tcat now here if you see i want to pick up the general info now for the purpose of documentation now i got company info company features etc as a part of my audit documentation first i said alter prepares i prepare this information see i am able to run the query and information in two clicks so what are the features are enabled in tally i get to know what are the system info where it was performed what are the starter info how it was given what are the license info this i'm running on demo it works on demo version also education version also what are the company features which are enabled in software okay and what are the company info which is given everything i get at one shot let me go to another interesting aspect same thing i come to tcat i want now here i'm just showing the master info <coughs> now here i want to pick up all the these are the accounting masters i want okay about the expense ledger ledger groups all the things i want i can also get for inventory cost center etc i say okay now can i export this from excel you can also export this to sorry export now just see the beauty i want to get all this ledger which means all the expense ledger from tally which are defined i get this in one shot including closing balances in tally mine is supposed to be debit okay so based on this i can actually decide okay what are the expenses which are there which are the expenses are higher what are the area i want to audit this itself i can convert as an audit plan or program and then write what are the type of tests i want to perform similarly group configuration for example which are head of account the bill wise is set for which account cost center is set for which subject is available is it a revenue item does it affect gross profit like that i can do various types of configuration is set in tally i can get it one shot similarly voucher types what are the voucher types that have been created what are the numbering is it automatic or manual i can get does that ledger uh, voucher type affect the stock is it a manufacturing journal is it a tax invoice all this information i get in one shot similarly have the ledger groups like that i can get all the masters at one shot for everything now i want gst related ledgers in this there will be nothing because this pertaining to 1213 okay so let's come to queries now if you look at query there are automatic queries which are available you want to pick up ledgers where the opening balance is zero and the closing balance is zero or opening balance is zero or closing balance is zero like that you can do various types of analysis okay this query now let me show you one important thing which is the i want to extract the transactions from the day book now we said we saw that 1490 transactions there by default is picked up 1412 to 313 2013 i got transactions narration yes i got everything i just say okay now the 990 transactions it means all the transactions of all the ledgers i about i am able to export and see it in one page now you can export from the day book also from tally and see the result you are getting here okay now what is the software doing now see we already got the result 
Now, if you see here, all the data is formatted correctly. Okay, which means totally 2,506 rows are there. 2,505. If you remove the header, now I just apply Excel. I'm exporting Excel. Now I just want to see the data is correct. Just go here month wise. I can see all the data has come correctly, and therefore it's formatted correctly. Now here I want to pick up based on the ledger name. I can go and pick up based on the ledger name. I want to pick up, let's say, there are something called a go down rent. I see, I've got this particular go down rent. I want to see what are the transactions happened. I can get all the transactions happened. Okay, the rent which has been paid, I can get to know. Month wise, I can do the analysis, which means I can do a complete ledger scrutiny using this software. I want to pick up what are the transactions where the journal entries have been passed. Okay, I just say journal. I pick up the all the journal entries and it gives me in one shot. Okay, now to pick up what are the sales, I can pick up the sale, which means I can do a detailed analysis based on this. I think one of a friend, Venkat, Venkatesh Murli from Chennai had written that he's got some 30,000 transactions. Based on the narration, he's doing a lot of analysis. Okay, this is what you can do, which means now if you see, I've got debit transactions. I can also do bill wise transactions, ledger watches. Ledger watches means for one debit, one credit credit. You pick up cash transactions, bank transactions, bank summary like that you can extract. You can also extract the trial balance. Let's say I want to ledger with groups. Now you want to prepare schedule three. Now I don't percentage. I want opening balance transactions, pay rent, closing balance, etc. Now see, I'll be able to get the trial balance from tally. Now see how it's formatted. Name, parent, primary group, opening debit, opening credit. It gives me all the information. Okay. So the, the, mo the mo most important benefit of using this is you are able to do an analysis, which means you are able to get the data of the masters and the transactions in a structured way so you can do further analysis. Now you got query masters. This is a, uh, this one. What is that? Query masters, list of ledgers, voucher types. Now you got transactions pertaining to inventory, all the masters, everything is available. I just want to show you one thing, which is let's say report not reports okay analysis now in tally i think you got audit and compliance features okay now you got account squared of doing there all the things are available i just say select all and say okay now i see all the data which is available in tally i should be able to get the audit features which are showing in tally for each of them i have to run now you see it becomes a part of my documentation record what are the transaction which have been squared out during the year okay what are the transaction which there are no transaction during the year what are the transactions which I have to verify? I can prepare my audit program based on this. What are the tables? Okay, I can get it like this. Similarly, let's say in reports, there is one more thing. Analysis, I can also have audit. There is something called exceptions. Okay, now I got negative like this, all the things. All the things I can get at one shot. I just say, okay, click. See, all this information is just exported. And not only that, it creates automatically in the sheet. This becomes a part of your audit documentation. Said, the auditor prepares so you prepare the audit step based on the exceptions you found okay verification balance payable not used negative ledger why these ledgers are negative so you can write your remark or prepare a separate sheet for each of them okay now you got negative stock you also got pending items like that you'll be put highest lowest transactions you remember I, talk, I talked about the maximum variance factor tally also i got similar one okay transactions are done on a holiday like that all these exceptions which are available now you see for the fixers also, you get with additions and deletions. Okay, old you receivable, old you payable, all these transactions, information. If there are email IDs, you can get also the email IDs. Now here, nothing is entered. You can get the address. Accounts open only during the current year. Which you can get everything at one shot. You also got various types of reports, register, sales register, purchase register. You can perform trend analysis like that. So the idea I wanted to convey was that if you have got data analytics software, Depending on your need, you can perform analysis required. There's one more software called the Tally Soft. This is software for importing data from Excel templates into Tally. Okay, you can also convert directly the bank statement. For example, I got the bank statement. I can open the bank statement in Excel and then enter the corresponding ledger, import it at one shot. Not only that, I can also import sales, vouchers, etc. So first I have got ready-made templates for masters, vouchers, and then based on that, I input the data and then import it. I validate it. And then I can import into tally. Okay, this gives you a complete summary of. We also got recording, which you can see. What I want to give you was the idea using data analytics, using data analytics tools, the data analytics becomes much more easier and simpler.